Hello, I'm Dr. Amr Al Amin, cornea, refractive surgery and cataract surgery consultant. At first, let's agree that when we are talking about refractive surgery, we should notice that there is a marked innovation has been happened in the last 20 years. Adding an option like femtolasic and femtosmile procedures, adding a hope for our patient who are not fitting for the other cornea refractive surgery, like LASIK or BRK. But of course, these procedures is still limited when we facing problems like a high myope and the same cornea. And here, we're starting to search for another option like FICIC IOL. In the last few years, I start using iCRIL FICIC IOL. The result were impressive for both me and my patient. iCRIL FICIC IOL can offer our patient an affordable option for the patient who couldn't afford the other lens-based refractive surgery. iCRIL FICIC IOL is a hydrophilic aspheric IOL with zero spherical abrasion. It is a posterior chamber IOL which is made of soft, flexible, and biocompatible material. It is preserves the accommodative power of our patient as it's also reserved the normal crystalline lens. For my patient, they notice that there is a great improvement immediately after implantation of iCRIL FICIC IOL. And here come a question. When we decide to implant the iCRIL FICIC IOL, there is many indications like high myopia, same cornea, dry eye, and a keratoconus patient, and of course, after treatment of keratoconus itself. But also, there is other contraindication like other FICIC IOL, like a lens problem like a cataract for example and subluxation, some anterior chamber or, or anterior segment problem like uveitis, glaucoma, some retinal problems and also an anterior chamber depth less than 2.8 mm from endothelial site. When we decide to implant the iCRIL FICIC IOL, we should do a full refractive assessment including a full ocular examination, subjective and cyclobrigic refraction, also measurement of endothelial cell count, and the most important two steps to assess the anterior chamber depth and the white white measurement. After collecting this data, we should go to biotechcalculator.com. At first, you should register at this site, then you entering the patient data, including name, for example, and age of the patient, then you should enter the clinical data of the, of the patient, like your reading and your chamber depth, refraction, of course, and white white. Then the site will automatically calculating the recommended type or recommended power of the FICIC IOL. And the next step will be the surgical procedure itself. The loading technique and the surgical technique for implantation of iCRIL FICIC IOL is so easy. The only trick is to determine the hole in the leading haptic, which should be in the left side or on the right side of trailing haptic. And also, we will find a central hole, which eliminates the need for peripheral iridectomy and also facilitates the equus flow from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. During the surgery, it's very important to facilitate the removal of OVD behind the iCRIL FICIC IOL. Finally, with iCRIL FICIC IOL, we can offer our patient a safe, invisible option for treatment of low to high myopia and also a reversible option which reserve the normal eye anatomy and for our surgeon, the anterior segment surgeon will find it very easy and familiar procedure. And finally, the correction of astigmatism is an option with a toric version of iCRIL FICIC IOL. Really, our patient deserve more and more. Thank you for the technology.